Hello friends, today's topic in the viva was of anatomy is to differentiate the male pelvis from the female pelvis. Now there are more than the 25 features uh, suggestive of a differentiation between the male and the female pelvis but we will concentrate the easy and the main point which you should told in the exam and in the viva. At the end we will see uh, show you all the 25 features but right now we will see only the, uh, the main feature, dif uh, easy feature which will differentiate the male and the female pelvis. But before that we will see how to keep the pelvis in the anatomical position. I will keep the one pelvis in my hand. So you should keep in such a way that the anterior superior iliac spine and the upper margin of a pubic symphysis should lies in the same vertical plane. This is the one point. The second point the pelvic surface of a pubic symphysis should direct backwards and upwards. And the third point, at the same time, the sacral canal, upper part of the sacral canal is directed almost directly upward. So, these three features, while you keep the bone, uh, keep, keeping these three features together, you should keep, you can keep this bone in the anatomical position like this. Now we will see the differentiating point of a male and the female pelvis. On my right side there is a male pelvis and on my left side there is a female pelvis. Now the overall shape and the size of a female pelvis is wider and shallower whereas that of the male pelvis is narrower and the longer. So shape of the female pelvis is, a, you can say it is a cylinder in the shape whereas that of the male pelvis is a short horn shape. First differentiating point that is the pelvic inlet. You can see the pelvic inlet of a female pelvis is a rounded and larger than the male pelvis that is a hard shape and the narrower. The second the pelvic cavity inside. The pelvic cavity is a roomier or you can say the wider and shallower in case of female pelvis whereas in the male pelvis it is narrower and the longer. The last is a pelvic outlet. Again, pelvic outlet in the female pelvis is wider, whereas in the male pelvis it is narrower. Okay. Now, the fourth point is a subpubic angle. The subpubic angle you can see in the female pelvis it is a wider U shape. The angle in the subpubic angle in the uh, female pelvis is 80 to 90 degrees. Whereas in the male uh, pelvis, the subpubic angle is narrower, it is a V shape or 50 to 60 degree. The fifth point is the conjoint ischio pubic rami. The conjoint ischio pubic rami in the female pelvis is thinner and straight, whereas in the male pelvis, it is thicker and its margin are everted due to attachment of cross pannies. Six point obturator for a man in the female pelvis is smaller and triangular in the shape, whereas in the male pelvis it is larger and the rounded in the shape. Seventh point, the ischial spine in the female pelvis is everted, whereas the ischial spine in male pelvis is inverted. Eight point, the greater sciatic notch. You can see the greater sciatic notch in the female pelvis is a wider. The angle in the greater sciatic notch is 75 degree whereas in the male uh, pelvis the greater sciatic notch is narrower angle is 50 degree last point about sacrum in the female pelvis like a female pelvis it is shorter and broader while, while in the male pelvis it is longer and narrower now the remaining differentiating point you can see in the next screens
if you like this video kindly subscribe and share with your friends and if you don't like please uh, give your comments in the comment box below